Hey everyone and welcome back to Nutty Chess Tips with me Nutty T. Today I'm going to continue with the Jabava repertoire and I'm going to show you some lines when your opponent plays knight a6. So as usual check it out. First moves on the table are d4, knight f6, knight c3, d5, bishop f4 and now when your opponent goes e6 we simply put the knight to b5 the most common move i've seen in this situation are the knight a6 lines there is also bishop d6 which i'll cover in a future video but in today's video i'm just going to concentrate on the knight a6 line your opponent goes knight a6 push a pawn to e3 they usually push a c pawn and now we just retreat the knight to c3 now the most common moves i've seen in this situation are bishop d6 and bishop b4 first off bishop b4 now i had this over the board in a cup game when i played for fleet in this situation I just recommend taking the knight on a6 when they take back we simply go a3 threatening this bishop they usually take the knight on c3 and now we take back with the b-pawn when I had this line over the board my opponent went queen a5 threatening this pawn I just developed the knight to e2. My opponent went e4 with his knight, and now I actually went d3 in the game with the queen. It's not a bad move, but it isn't the best move. The best move here is actually f3. If your opponent takes the pawn, we simply come in with queen d2. And as you can see, if they take the knight on e2, we simply take this queen. If they take the bishop, we take. And as you can see, we're just winning here. So let's go back. If they just do a standard move here like castles, I just recommend taking off this knight with the queen. When they take back, we simply take the queen and we're just winning here so let's go back what if in this situation they go d6 with the bishop now there is two moves i like to play here the uh the first one is obviously taking this knight on a6 and the other is just developing my knight to f3 I'll show you both and show you what they can do. First off, when we take the knight on a6, if they don't take and they simply take the bishop, we can then take the b-pawn and we're iron up the rook. So in this situation, they usually take the bishop on a6. And now instead of taking this bishop on d6, we simply maneuver the knight to f3 the reason i don't take this bishop is because the queen usually comes to d6 and it's just developing a piece so we develop and then when they take we simply take back with the e-pawn and now we have this lovely space on e5 if queen goes to a5 we simply go knight e5 this knight is beautiful on e5 so now if they go knight e4 threatening this knight we simply castle now when they take we take back with the b pawn if they take with the queen we simply move rook b1 if they castle in this situation i just recommend rook b3 and as you can see by the highlighted arrows we're looking to get the rook on h3 so when the queen moves out of danger to a5 
we simply move the rook in to h3. If the queen goes back to c7, we simply go queen h5. And as you can see, it's a checkmate in one. So your opponent will usually go h6. Now here, I just recommend going all out on your attack with a g4. Now, if they go f6, keeping an eye on this g pawn with the queen, we simply go g5. Now, they either can take the knight or take the pawn. If they take the knight, we simply take on h6. If they take back, now we simply go king h1. And as you can see, this rook is going to g1. Rook f5, trying to threaten this queen. But we do not bother about this. We simply go rook g1. If king f8, we simply go queen h6, check. King usually goes to e7. We can come in with this check. But first, I like this move, which is f takes e. And now, as you can see, this space is no longer available for the king to go to. So now, if they go c5, we simply come in with the rook with check. When they cover, I like this move, which is queen f6. Rook can't take because it's pinned. King has to move. If the king moves to f8, we simply have this move. Boom. Checkmate. So they can't move there. They usually move to d7. And now we simply go queen takes f7 check. When they move the king out of danger, we whip off this queen with another check. The only space it can go is b5. And now we come in with the queen, c5 check. The only space it can go with the king is a4. And now we simply go Ooh, rook checkmate on a3. So let's go back. What if they take the pawn on g5? Well, now it's even worse. We take the pawn. And now if they come in with the rook, we simply go queen e8 check. When they cover with the rook, we go queen g6. And as you can see, the queen and rook can't get to this space on f7 because the knight is guarding and will simply win a piece so if they go bishop b7 and now can you spot the move rook takes h6 and as you can see the pawn is pinned by the queen so it cannot take the rook rook e8 just trying to get the king out of danger. But this is futile. We go queen h7. The king gets out of danger with f8. And now we simply go rook f6. They can't take because if they take, we have this move, which is boom. Knight g6 checkmate. So obviously king e7 is played. And now we simply go rook f7 check. When they move, we simply take the queen. When they take back, we have another check with the queen taking the pawn. When the king moves to b8, do you remember this little rook on the first rank? This goes to b1. If rook e7, we simply take the rook. King c8, we take the bishop with a check. King d8, and then we go skadoosh. Queen d7, checkmate. 
so let's go back and now the final line in this variation knight f3 now if knight c7 we simply go knight e5 when they castle we then develop the bishop to d3 this is a common move for the light square bishop in the jabava a common move here is c5 we simply take when they take back queen f3 and we're looking to go for a quick attack so bishop b4 we go h3 with the queen if the opponent goes h6 can you spot this beautiful move in this situation kamikaze bishop takes on h6 when they take back we take with the queen and now if rook e8 we have this lovely move kamikaze ah, bishop g6 when they take we simply take back king h8 and then Boom. Knight f7 checkmate so I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments below and it's nice